Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Brandon here with Disc Golf Dummies. Today we got something a little different for you. We're going to be doing some best shot doubles. And today for commentary, I am joined with my buddy Scott. How's it going, Scott? Hey, things are going fabulous over here. Uh, really looking forward to this and uh, excited that I'm, I can be a part of it. Yeah, no, this is excellent. We're glad to get you on the channel. And we got, uh, got some player profiles for you guys this time. There's me, just been playing since last year. Same with my brother here, Dwayne. I think he's got a little magic trick for us. Saw that face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's a good fan of Simon. So here we go. Evan White is going to be Dwayne's partner today in our best shot doubles. Uh, we put Evan and Dwayne together thinking... Uh, thinking these would be the best teams uh, the most even teams so scott and i are going to team up lefty righty combo let's see what we can do sounds like it's going to be a blast i'm looking forward to it awesome here we go hole one 274 feet we got the new tee box thanks to hammond's planes disc golf crew scott what are you throwing here i'm throwing my archer off of uh, the first tee here it's uh, pretty flippy so it tends to like to flip over and just keep on going towards the basket yeah, there you go. I think you ended up just a little bit in the woods there, but let's see if I can pick you up here with a clean drive. Throw my uh, Leopard 3, and yeah, I, I peered that one nicely. That I even nice. get a little skip there. Yep. Thank you. So yeah, that puts us in a good position for an attempt at a birdie. Absolutely. Straight down the middle. Mm -hmm. That's what we like to see. So here goes Dwayne. He releases a little high and uh, causes him to crash into those woods early. There it goes, Evan. He's heading up there. He's one of the one of the better players at the club. He's definitely uh, out of the four of us. He's uh, definitely the best player in our group today. Yeah, exactly. So uh, he's throwing his uh, crystal buzz off of this one on hole one. So we'll see see what kind of flight he can get out of this. Man, he puts some spin on that disc. Yeah, just carries himself a little bit too far right. That went straight, straight. Did not turn, didn't fade, didn't do anything for him. Yeah, so Dwayne's left with a good, what, 50, 60 footer? He's definitely out there. It's a tester. <laughs> so he, he puts one within, within distance, I think. So uh, Evan here throwing his P2 putter. And leaves it a little bit right. Uncharacteristic of Evan, I think, but absolutely relatively short 10 12 footer here, a little bit of tree coverage. Ooh, splashing oh. off the chains! Wow, Dwayne getting robbed there. I took a little bit on the am side. <laughs> Evan, oh, trying to clutch up for Dwayne, but. Rough start for the Dwayne and Evan combination here. Well, I think Especially we need I, th so I think close. we need that advantage right now. Uh, we got a tough round ahead of us. Yeah, Evan's a great player. So Dwayne's got a few tricks up his sleeves occasionally too. So, I mean, he did. Uh, big shout out to Dwayne. Just today, he won the Hillsboro Huck in uh, Hillsboro, New Brunswick. Uh, off the hole too. Here we got uh, 230 feet straight down the road, and then just a little bit to the left. Off the road is your basket, about 20 feet or so. So I'm just throwing my buzz here, just trying to get something nice and straight. I just uh, pulled a little bit too far right, clipped the trees, but I'm still sort of in the road. Yeah, I'm coming up there. I got my Hades in my hand. I'm going to have to do a flick on this one. It's uh, try to keep it over to the right hand. It's, it's a pretty tight shot for me to try to get it down there, but uh, this one seemed to work out okay. Could have done a little better. Yeah. Not quite the distance uh, I've seen you get before, but uh, definitely will give us a good angle at, at the basket anyway. So Dwayne here, I believe this is his buzz, uh, the Philadelphia Flyer stamp on it. I'm pretty sure. And yeah, he just, uh, again with the nose up, crashes hard left. So see if Evan can get one down the middle for them. What's he throwing here? That looks like his Glow PA3. Yeah. He loves that disc. I, I think that's one of his favorites. There he goes. Nice little Annie. Flexes it out on him a little bit early, but uh, they should still have a decent run here. So, yeah, we're taking your drive there, Scott. Yeah. 
Well, let's see here. Yeah. Well, we got her up there. Yeah, you we're, put we're her sitting there in parked, there. so giving you a chance to just go for it. Yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna try to I believe I try a little jump putt action here. Something I'm not exactly used to. I let it go a little early, but hey, we got Scott's up there. Hopefully, we can tap in for that par. So they're in a little worse position than I thought. Looks like Dwayne's gonna lay one up safe here. Yeah, it's putting that right into play there. They got him parked. That gives Evan a chance to just go for it, I guess. See what he does here. Yeah. Looks like he's going with a big forehand Anheuser and oh, that was just a, over the basket. That was a good run. He had a stretch way out there. Mm. So there's Scott tapping in for our par. Very nicely done, sir. Thank you. And Dwayne, oh, for the tap-in par, but misses left side. Lost a little bit of concentration there by the looks of it. Yeah. Sometimes when he they're too knew. easy, they're too hard. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. And at least this time he's got Evan there to, to bail him out. So they're still in it. Only a couple strokes difference here. Off the hole three, 359 feet. Uh, arguably the hardest hole in the course here. Got a long straight uh well sort of bendy fairway but what are you uh, what are you going with here i got my hades in the hand and uh trying to just drive her straight down the middle and then of course i always get uh, a little bit of a nasty fade out at the very end of that uh, for that lefty punishment yeah it looked good for the first bit but like say it faded out so i believe i'm uh going i believe that's my buzz and uh pulled it over a little too far but i got a nice kick to the middle of the road members the bounce plane. there for sure <laughs> exactly so here goes Dwayne. Uh, not quite sure what disc he's got in his hand here, but definitely pulled it a bit right. Evan's stepping up to the tee now. Looks like he's got his iDie Pro Boss in hand. There we go. Let's see what he can do here. You know, a guy like Evan's probably looking at that corner. It's a hard corner to reach, but uh, it can certainly be done, especially if uh, Evan rips this out properly. Ooh, looks like that just got a little overstable on him. Didn't quite flip the way he thought it would. Just got uh, hard into those trees on the left. So I'm here with my uh, Buzz OS, and I clear that corner nicely. Get a nice little bounce uh, up to the bottom of the hill. Yeah, it looks like that was, that was right down the gut, and uh, you got that skip over there just perfect. Yeah, I got so my... Uh, Looks like my ro soft roach in hand. Trying to say Very thing. nice forehand. Very clean. That that was right around where I'm going to be, I think. So these guys are in a bit of a jam. Dwayne's going with a roller and doesn't quite make the gap. He hits the tree. So another pressure situation for Evan here. Yeah. Get themselves in there pretty hard. Looks like he's going for a roller. Yeah, let's see if he can get out. Gets out and, gets out and bounce. A little bit, a little bit long across the road. But uh, they got a interesting shot from here. A little bit of low ceiling on the tree, but Dwayne nicely done up shot there, right oh, into the side beauty. of the hill. Smacks right like down to the see. bottom of the hill. Yeah. Evan here looks like he's thrown his zone. Taking a little bit of time there, sizing it up. Yeah, and uh, not bad at all. I think he's just on the back side. So it looks like I'm a little closer than your shot, but we were pretty much identical. It was both great shots. Right on. Just a nice easy one here for you to throw it up and smash it into the chains. Elevated basket, though. That's always a challenge. Yeah, this show. Oh, and of and course, I hit the band. The band. This hole has definitely got my number a lot of times. Uh, being recently getting better, but it's still it's always a tough shot when you got that elevated basket. So Scott here to bail me out, and he does so very nicely done. Yeah, I've uh, I, I've managed to get par on this hole, and I've also managed to take a ten. So uh, you just never know with the way the wind whips up that channel. Mm -hmm, that is true. So Dwayne here for his tap in, and yeah, sneaks it by on the left side nicely for the bogey. Beauty. So uh, 
believe that's a par for us. Bogey for them. Gets us an extra stroke. So now we're up three strokes on them. Going into hole number four, the long one here. 515 feet. You know, pretty wide. Just OB right. OB long when you get around the basket. But got a little bit of drone footage here, thanks to Scott. Yeah, it's a, a Mavic Pro 2. Uh, does some amazing uh, photo quality. I really enjoy it. And uh, just getting used to the flying of it now. I got my license not so long ago and uh, just trying to shake off the cobwebs and see how it's going to work out for us. Yeah, so far it's looking great. This is the first video we're optimizing it and uh, I think it's looking good. So what are you throwing here? That's my Hades again. Uh, you'll, you'll see that in my hand quite often. <laughs> Yeah, you're definitely enjoying that one, and you got a great pull on that. You see it floating down at the center of your screen there. Beautiful drive. Yeah, that one felt pretty good. Yeah. So here we got Evan. He's uh, he's going with that boss again. Yeah, for sure. And uh, he's one of those guys. He can definitely crush it down the fairway, as we will see right here. He's get got a nice turn on that, and it's just going to fade out nicely. Wow, that was nice. Yeah, so Dwayne's going to opt for the forehand. He's uh, hoping to get his max distance. Uh, not sure what this get is. thought it was a buzz, but now that he's throwing it here, I really don't think it is. Yeah, switched up the angle a little bit here. Thought the, uh, the drone was going to get hit in flight. <laughs> yeah, he was coming right at it. So, yeah, I just want to, uh, again, thanks, Scott, for this drone footage. This is excellent. This really brings a new level to the channel. Yeah, no problem. Uh, and everyone watching, I just want to remind you guys, uh, if you could subscribe to the channel at 100 subscribers, we're giving away a beautiful Paige Pierce Stalker. It's over on our Instagram page. If you want to head over there, check out the disc and uh, stay up to date on when the giveaway is going to be. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, these guys are doing great. Uh, you know, Disc Golf Dummies is fabulous. You know, make sure you uh, hit the like button and, and ding that bell. <laughs> That's right. So here I'm going with my Buzz OS. Uh, I'm just going to pound it over that OB and let it do its thing and come right back and it's exactly what happens I'm you know a few feet short of the basket beauty I'm gonna just uh, stand up here I got my uh, my Macbeth buzz see if I can't get yeah. it down there and that one worked out real well beautiful for me. beautiful upshot got the fist pump <laughs> so Dwayne here they're a little closer than we were they got about 150 or so in and Dwayne, I think the wind just got under that one, left a little nose up. So he'll be on the left side, just in bounds, though. Evan lining up there, looks like he's got his sex and fire bird in hand. Or nope, that, that's his uh, uh, Z glow. That's his zone. Yeah, that's his, it's his zone, his, his glow zone. And uh, there's Adder. I think he just pulled that too much. He was a little... A little too uh, lenient on the fade on that one. He, uh, Put it in, Dwayne. I think it was a headwind, too, so it held it up there, and he ended up OB. For sure. But Dwayne here, off the band for the birdie. Yeah. It's always so difficult to uh, predict what the wind is going to do to you on this hole. It's just it's more of a swirl. You, you think you're in a headwind, and then when you turn around and do 180 degrees back the other way, it's still a headwind. It's always mm -hmm. confusing. Definitely. If you've ever played here, you know what we mean. It's never consistent. So, especially this basket, you it's always it's always windy one way or another. And Evan smashing those smashes chains it with his P two. Yeah, beautiful putt there. They needed that hang in there with us. So, this is where Scotts. You can see my upshots were almost identical again on the upshots, which is really good. So we went with Scotts this time and. Tapping her in for the birdie, staying uh, uh, nice a few strokes ahead of those guys. Nicely done. So, off to hole five. This is a left-hander's dream. Uh, 265 feet straight out, and then cuts back into the right. So I'm opting for a forehand. I believe this is my Buzz OS. Um, I just get it a little high and turns in there a little bit early, or fades in there a little bit early, I should say. Yeah, well, you got up there. It wasn't so bad, but uh, let's see what I can do here. Uh, yeah. I'm not quite sure what I have this time around. It's probably the Hades again, but uh, hard to say. Yeah. Sometimes you throw your Zeus here. 
Once in a while, if I got a if I got a good headwind, I'll, I'll go with the Zeus. That's for sure. Yeah, if there's a disc, I think we missed their tee shots. Uh, Evan and Dwayne, I didn't see them yeah. with their tee shots, so I don't, I don't know what happened there. there. But uh, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure that Evan uh, parked a Sexton Firebird. Pretty much. Scott just missed his putt, and me can't quite clutch it up for you. Trying to get that birdie to go three under, but just under the basket now. So we'll get our power. And that's that's where Evan's drive went. Not sure what happened to his tee shot. Uh, maybe Dwayne can edit that in later. But uh, Evan here for the birdie and gets it. Yeah. Definitely needed that one over halfway through this nine-hole round. Uh, brings him within two. Yeah, they get a stroke on us on that one and the honors of the tee box. So off the hole six, the other par four, this one is 505 feet. You got a Mando at the end of the fairway. As you can see, those two telephone poles uh, makes for a very interesting hole. Brandon looks like he's getting uh, warmed up here, ready for a big rip. Yeah, Dwayne that is. Dwayne, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, being brothers, we get that a lot. We're used to that. So, yeah, Dwayne, beautiful rip there. Very Probably good. Right around 300 or so. Right in the middle of that fairway. It's excellent drive. And we'll see what Evan can do here. He's got his glow crank in hand. Yep. He can really come onto that one here. And look at that. Beautiful, nice cranked. turn. You see it fading back just to the right side of the fairway. That is beautiful. Yeah. Nicely done. So, I'm going with my Avenger SS. I think there's a bit of a tailwind here. Um, tried to get a bit of a turn on it. Didn't really get much, so it just stayed out left. But uh, decent drive. Yeah, Definitely not complaining. There's nothing to complain about there. It's way better than being out of bounds on this one. Yeah, which can happen quite easily. Uh, the OB is fairly aggressive on this one on that right side. Yeah, surprise, going surprise. I'm ripping here. off with my Hades once again. Yeah, and you got all of that one. That was excellent good 50 feet past me at least so there we're going to take yours for sure right in the middle of the fairway yeah, probably sitting up there at about the 325 marker so we're probably about 225 or so back from the pin yeah so i'm throwing my mako 3 here got a little tailwind so i'm throwing something slightly more understable and uh didn't quite get the turn i was expecting and just fades out at the end but i stay in bounds i didn't go past the mando so that's the important part yeah, that, was, that still looks pretty good yeah definitely we'll have a look from there so hopefully uh you can get us a little closer you can be a little more aggressive here well, i'm grabbing the buzz we'll see what we can do and see if we can't get that straight up there but mando's always intimidating yeah it's definitely definitely a heck of a shot to try to get it through there from you know 200 feet away or so yeah i released that like... a little bit early and blew past the mando on that one yeah but we still got mine there so we're still safe that that's the good thing about getting that first one safe absolutely and Dwayne here i believe that's his mako three trying to get a slight turnover shot and he does not it just fades out on him i think he went past i'm pretty sure so evan's throwing his zone here nice forehand flick I've seen him do this shot quite a few times, make it clean through the Mando. Yeah, he knows how to control that. Yeah. There we go. Look at that. Done. Bounces up straight on top of the hill. He's parked, ready to go into the basket on the next one. Yeah, Dwayne approves. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are. This is where my Miko ended up. Still... Not past the Mando, which is good. I opt to go forehand and just, just short. Just off the bottom. Good effort. Yeah, but now we get a safe one, which allows you to 
get creative here. I'm going to try to get a run. It's uh, The footing's not really good here, so I'm trying to figure mm -hmm. out how I'm going to work this one out, and it looks like uh, patent pending for me. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh, oh, very, very close. At least she didn't leave it short, so... <laughs> we'll uh, be able to get our power from the tap-in, and these guys able to go up one if they sink this birdie putt. What do they get, about 20 feet up on the hill? Here we go. Oh, jeez. Just on the uh, outside. Yeah, just missed the edge of the basket there. So, Evan, seeing if he can clutch up for Dwayne. And there's the release. Oh, it was just bad. chained out. So unfair. He even hit right side change. You hate to see that. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, both teams get our par. Stay status quo. We're two under. Those guys are even. Off to hole seven. This is a challenging hole, but it's one of my favorite holes. Uh, got a little bit of trees on the right side when you're teeing off. We're teeing off back in that gully there. You'll see Dwayne in the white shirt. His disc will be flying. There it is there. Dwayne uh, gets a little nose up. I think he took some distance off and he crashes into those trees on the right I was talking about. Yeah, I'm just uh, packing my drone up and getting it put away. <laughs> this will be all the drone footage yeah. for today. We're going to be uh, about to head into the tree line here pretty soon. So, Yeah, look out for more drone footage on the channel. I think in the future we'll have uh, some flyovers. And, and so, you know, as we see different courses, we'll, we'll have those as well. But here, here we got Evan. He's, uh, what's he tossing that, crank again? I think so. I believe so. He has a glow crank. He gets a beautiful pull on that one. Yeah, that was wonderful. Yeah, I think he'll be right on that tree line just to the left of the basket. So I'm going Avenger SS here, just trying to get something turned over and then have it flex back out, and that's pretty much what happens. That's uh, wow, that right was, where I wanted to be. That was pretty good. You got yourself right up on the landing area, getting a really yeah. good look at the basket. Yeah, we'll be, you know, edge of circle two probably. And uh, what do you got here, Scott? Hades? That's going to be the Hades once again. Beautiful And there disc. she goes. Just loves staying in the air, and I fade off there into my bottom corner. <laughs> You've been there a time or two. So here we got, uh, you know, a circle two edge putt. Now you just lay it up nicely there. See if you can give it a run here, Scott. Just going up there. I think that was my Tour Series Luna in hand. Yeah, it didn't look, it looked like it kind of fell out of your hand almost, <laughs> didn't quite get a good Yeah, I, you know, you had it parked, so I figured I'd just go parking with you instead of actually running the basket. <laughs> yeah, gotta let these guys catch up, right? That's a beautiful birdie there. Good drive by Evan, good putt by Dwayne. Get that confidence back up. So that pulls him uh, within one, I believe. There's our... There's our power tap in. Yeah. I've, I've been known to miss doing that. <laughs> so yeah, it brings them within one. Uh, off the hole eight, 192 feet. This one you basically got to pick left or right and go for it. Uh, there's a big group of trees in the middle. And the sun's getting a little bad on this hole. But... Here well, goes Dwayne. Uh, little ding just... off a tree. Yanked it a little bit left and yeah, just hit into those thick trees. I believe Evan's going with his uh, buzz again, is he? Yeah, it looks like this crystal buzz. Yeah. Yeah, the sun's oh, a little no, bright. Is, no, that's his zone, sorry. Is that the zone? Yeah, it's his zone. Okay. That is the zone, I just checked. <laughs> and he hits that cap nicely, but just fades into that tree. It looked like it was going to be the beautiful line, but. This hole can get you out of nowhere. Well, the trees are like magnets, and uh, mm -hmm. right now that sun is just getting you right in the eye, so it's hard to see through the, the line that we're trying to see. Yeah, you get a good idea of the split left and right there. I usually try to go right. Um, yeah, or straight right into up, the middle. Right up the middle, yeah. I, I bounced way left. I was jailed pretty hard. So Scott's bounce to the right was actually the best move for us. And still, as you can see, it is not very yeah. fun. I don't have a whole lot to look at. I can't reach out far enough to get that uh, to go properly. So I'm going to line up here on a, an overhand uh, roller and see if I can't uh, push my roach through there. Yeah, sometimes on this course, that's all you can do. It didn't come out too bad. 
No, that'll that'll have a decent look from there for sure. So uh, being a right-handed, I don't quite have the same stance as you. So I'm able to actually go patent pending, and I've been working on these scoobers. So uh, just trying to get it up there, have a hold a little bit of line, but as you see here, it fades out too quickly. Um, but yeah, I'm working on those scoobers. They they got their they got their place. <laughs> they do. You, you started cutting me doing it now, so there's a few <laughs> spots there that uh, I like to try to attempt it on. Usually uh, uh, later on in uh, another edition when we see the island hole, and I usually find myself uh, going to the drop zone, I'm starting to find that the scuba there is quite handy. Yeah, it's quite consistent when you start using it more often. You get used to it. So Dwayne and Evan here, not that much uh, more fun than us. They have a couple bigger options, but still, it's not ideal. Looks like they're opting for the forehand. So there's a low Evan PA3 there, in hand there, is it? Or? Yeah, that's his PA3, exactly. Yeah. And uh, just turned that over a little bit too much. Uh, we'll see what Dwayne goes for here. I think he's going to run it as well. They're pretty close with Evan's shot there. Absolutely. So that'll be at least a par. Dwayne, I believe, is throwing his buzz. Or, sorry, not his buzz, his uh, zone. Almost does a replica of Evan's shot there, holding yeah, it on pretty that much. Anheuser. Yeah. So here we got what 20, 25 feet. Yeah, about that. And, and uh, me, oh. just nothing but air. So let's see if you can smack some chains with this one, okay? Yeah. See if I can redeem myself from the last one where I couldn't quite clutch up for you. There we go. Nice saving par. Stay one stroke ahead of those guys. That, that's a key. Key, key putt right there, I think. Absolutely. Brandon's not here to take the camera, so I'll do it. No, that's fine. No, <laughs> stay there. Yeah, Evan wants to so tap, in. tap in. Evan can tap those in. Easy right, peasy, lemon squeezy. Mm -hmm. That's true. So here we go. Off to the final hole of this best shot doubles. It's been a lot of fun so far. It's a one stroke difference. Scott and I at minus one. So this hole here, 276, basically a a uh, slight fade to the left works nicely straight up the gut and Dwayne just pulls that a little bit too far right and hits a tree yeah and uh let's see here Evan's stepping up and what's he got his, in his hand this time that's his crystal buzz yeah that's a crystal buzz he likes that one a lot goes nice and straight for him yeah I've seen him park this basket using uh that disc right there It's a good pull on it. Just pulled it over a little too much. You want that disc to be a little more left, but he uh, he definitely will have a shot from there. He'll, he'll have a look anyway. He'll just be a little bit down the hill. Yeah. What do so, you got going uh, on here? Uh, I got my buzz, my ESP buzz, and uh, I left that on a bit of a hyzer, so it faded back nicely. And uh, yeah, we're, we'll have a good look from there. So leave it open for you. What are you throwing? Ah, mm -hmm. uh, that's my. Four Claw Paul Macbeth Undertaker. Very nice. Hopefully I can get it down the middle, but no, I take the uh, the wide line in behind the hand of God and a little <laughs> bit of a bounce wow. up towards the basket, I think. But uh, still not the best place, but it could have been a lot worse. Yeah, so here's where Evan's drive ended up. As you can see, they have a look, but it's a long look. And Dwayne so almost. So close. And they know how important this shot is, too. With the one-stroke difference on the final hole, they sink that. That, you know, ties us and uh, puts pressure on us to make our birdie for the win. Absolutely. So now, Evan here, really see if he can't... Got Evan. See if he can't clutch this one. It definitely within his realm of possibility, for sure. I've seen him make these kind of putts. For sure. This is a good five or six feet uphill as well. Go and tickle oh. the chains on the am side. Yeah, that was a very good attempt from from that far away up the hill. All right, so Brandon, you, let's let's. Uh, this is a chance for you to spread that gap a little bit further and uh, take it with another stroke. Mm, just just under the basket, but uh, I'm set up nicely there for a tap in par, which should secure the victory. But we'd like to win by two. Get in there. And oh. same. Just uh, dancing underneath the, the basket there. 
Yeah, nice try. So Evan's going to tap in for his par with Dwayne. They will finish at one under. And here's me for our par. And there we go. Champions All at two right. under par. Good work today, Scott. Oh, put that crown on. There it mm -hmm. is. <laughs> Your first ever Disc Golf Dummies victory. How does it feel? Oh, it feels pretty good, you know, and I feel we, we, we might have got a little lucky there. Uh, with uh, <laughs> Those guys weren't playing up to their full abilities, but uh, let's see what happens. Uh, I'm sure they'll want revenge, and uh, maybe we'll come up with something a little more interesting for the next one. Yeah, definitely. If any of you guys have any ideas, leave comments. Tell us what kind of video you want to see us do next. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll be giving away a disc as soon as we hit 100 subscribers. Ding that bell and make sure you get all the future updates so that you'll get notified when the next Disc, Craft, disc Golf Dummies video comes out. Bye.